did it. Something strange is going on around here because every time the kittens come near me, they immediately start giggling and go off somewhere else. You're being paranoid. Come on, cat, let's go downstairs. Just watch. Hey, kids, what's up? Oh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing about you. <laughs> See what I mean? It's just a coincidence. Stop it, Tuck. You've got to play it cool or you're going to blow everything. You've got to be as careful as, as a fiddler on the roof. Muzzle tough. Tippy, you know we can hear you. Oh, right. Come on, Tuck. Let's go play elsewhere. What do you suppose the color scheme is supposed to be over here? It's like drab, drabber, and drabber. Who are you? Sherwin Williams? Who cares? They've gone into the office now. But maybe the reason they're always giggling is because they think you have schizophrenia and yet you never act any differently. How am I supposed to act? Like a combination of Ann Coulter, Sarah Palin, and Elizabeth Hasselhoff. Well, that doesn't sound like schizophrenia. It sounds like the Three Stooges. Exactly. That was close. Hey, look, there's a fly in here. Let's try and catch it. I guess I'm having a hard time getting into character as a schizo, of being so beautiful and vivacious and all. It's very hard for me to fake anything less. But I think if I had a really good director, he could bring out my darker side. You mean like Tim Burton? Well, sure, but I think you'd work too. <laughs> the trick to catching the fly is to sneak up and surprise him. What? You mean like this? No, nothing like that. Well, what if I started off in this direction and then suddenly moved backwards and then attacked? Better, but not great. Oh, come on. That was pretty clever. So you want me to direct you? Well, if you insist. I'll warn you, I'm very tough. A real Svengali. You know, I've never been to that country, but I'm sure it's very beautiful. Svengali is not a country, honey. It's a... Oh, never mind. Let's get started. I've always found that when it comes to catching a fly, the direct approach is much more effective. If you simply show the fly that you're actually hunting him and then list all the reasons why he has no reasonable chance of escaping you, not to mention the fact that his lifespan is rather short, he'll eventually come to the conclusion that it's so much better to be eaten with dignity by a cat than to suffer a silent demise alone somewhere off in a corner slowly decaying and gathering dust. Isn't that right, Fly? Goodbye, cruel world. And there you go. Maybe you're just boring them to sleep with your long diatribe. I know I had a hard time keeping my eyes open. <sighs> now, we need to create a character for you that is totally different from your own personality. One that is a, a bit wild and... Would you please stop grooming and pay attention? Okay, sorry. I was just doing some spring cleaning. You'll have plenty of time for that later. Oops, missed a spot. Uh, sorry. Now look, are you serious about this? Because I'm not going to waste my time. If yes, of course I am. I just... Oh, 